should you still buy iPhone X in 2021? Well, let's talk about this. Hi guys, this is Shomit. Thank you for watching this video. If you end up liking this video, then do hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more such video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So iPhone X was born in 2017 and it was the first iPhone to have a full screen to body ratio and a notch with a glass back. It was also the first iPhone to have a wireless charging support and it was the first iPhone to have a stainless steel body. This was the first iPhone to not to have a touch ID button and it also introduced any emoji and gestures and the precious face ID. Basically it revolutionized the Apple iPhone lineup forever. I bought this iPhone in 2017 just 4 days after its launch from Australia for around 68,000. This is the silver color 64GB variant. Well technically this phone was gifted to my mom from my dad. But as I am a tech geek, I was the one using it for a significant amount of time and testing this phone. Well let's start with the performance. Talking about the performance, seriously this iPhone has not shown not even a minor performance drop since its first use in 2017. It has a 2.39 GHz hexa-core processor and the A11 Bionic chipset. This was also among the first smartphones that could run Fortnite. Well, although my mom didn't allow me to install any games on it, but still I managed to download Fortnite on it and play it for 2 hours straight. I got an average of 45 FPS and the phone's battery lasted around 1.35 hours and the rest 25 minutes I had to plug in the charger. Well currently Fortnite is not available on iPhones. Bad luck. Well you can still enjoy games such as Call of Duty or Garena War and this phone has the ability to give you a great gaming experience. This iPhone also has an IP67 water resistance rating. It can remain under water for maximum depth of 1 meter up to 30 minutes. Talking about its battery life, in 2017 it used to give an average battery life of 8 hours 45 minutes and since 2017 I have seen a 30 minutes drop in the battery life every year. So currently it's giving an average battery life of 6 hours 50 minutes. Well I am in love with the design of this iPhone X. The glossy glass back and stainless steel frame give it a professional rich look. Well the buttons are accurately placed on the phone's body giving it a symmetrical look. This iPhone has a 12 plus 12 megapixel rear camera and a 7 megapixel front camera and it records video at 4K, 24, 30 and 60 FPS and 1080p at 30 and 60 FPS. Up on the screen are some camera samples. The iPhone X has a 5.6 inches HDR10 OLED display with Dolby Vision and a brightness of 625 nits. Even today if you buy an iPhone 11, it has an LCD display but iPhone X has OLED display which promises more sharpness and accurate colors. Well in my opinion iPhone X is still a great buy in 2021. I know most people might find the price tag a little bit too much despite the drop but if you consider your mobile communication as a major investment then you should definitely go for this phone. Ok guys that's it for this video be on a lookout for upcoming reviews on this channel. Do subscribe to this channel and leave a comment saying I have subscribed and I would surely reply to you. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram then do follow with the link in the description. I create some comedy reels there. Thanks for watching. This is Shomit Said signing off.